Hello, welcome. Um, doing a video here because quite a few people have sent me messages and emails regarding experience at Oakwell, back to football club in general, from hospitality, you know, food, drink, club shop. I feel it's only right to put address these concerns. I'm not going to name the names on emails. I'm going to be reading out some stuff. I think it all more or less kicked off and started from Thursday, I believe, or Thursday, the open day as such, part open day. And about where it, my phone just went, well, went dual alley. And, you know, I, I'm making no apologies for this one I'm going to uh, put out there. Never been down to ground today with my son, some friends, the food and prices and just general things in, in matter. Uh, not a rant by any means, just to make people aware, and if anybody at clubs watching this, just to hear and understand what people's concerns are regarding plans being taken for a, a bit of a ride on some of prices. And again, it kind of culminated with Sheffield United fixture coming up in the Cup, 17 quid. Yeah, going to be a big derby, or you'd think so. But yeah, just quite a few things to address. So going back to it, I've got some emails here. I'm going to read these emails out just to see how it, it sits. And people, and, and you know, I'm not going to read loads out. I'll probably pick about two, maybe three out. But I, Neil, it's blank, blank. Uh, just a few concerns I'd like to raise. Oh, you don't mind, I put them in bullet points. And no bar open, only serving from one fold counter. So full queue was quite long. Staff didn't appear one bit trained either. No quiz or interactive stuff for adults like it has been in previous seasons. And someone did mention uh, when we were discontent online about the workshop game where it was, you know, a bit of free food, a, a quiz and stuff. Again, interacting with fans, good experience the way it works up. Again, that's gone. Play sat down behind barriers. Those previous years, players had been freely walking around. Again, this meant the queue was a massive. They were double looped past the entire East and Again, in previous years, it's been open for season ticket holders only, whereas this year it's a free-for-all, meaning those with season tickets didn't get any benefit at all. And again, a benefit, but it's like not, not there for season ticket holders. Advertise that Callum Styles, uh, sorry, Callum Styles, I'm thinking Styles will just uh, transferred away. Gone to West Brom. I have a time at Callum Simpson, uh, where the buddy he wasn't there. We did leave at three o'clock, so I'm sure if he did come afterwards. Overall, just a very poor experience and nothing on previous years. Cheers from that person. And again, I'm not going to read the names out. I Neil, it's um, in brief few issues with yesterday. I wasn't there myself. I was working, but my mum took my son. Love to be part of a group of club considered things like this and having so many ideas, it's frustrating. As soon as it's gone in, you go in over two hours for a queue, no considerations for send children. Uh, this, uh, this parent's son's artistic and struggles with queues. When this was explained, I'm one of the very few stewards, again, lack of stewards and that, uh, my mum was practically ignored. So I won't take it on board. What, what, what? you know, there to be addressed. My son hated the experience. He said that the time he actually got to see the players, he had had enough. He got bored and he was upset. Um, he was angry when he got home. Uh, it was just a negative impact for him. And anybody associates with his club, taking the children with people, you know, such as like, i uh, got autism and things like that. It needs to be a positive experience. That was from a concerned parent. That, that, that worried me a lot, knowing that an issue had been raised. But not to come on board, it was just like me, could just get on a deal with it again. Morning, it's always getting this email to you. So, we got to work well approximately 20 past one. Walked down to East End for a massive queue, a big queue, as it and it wasn't even half past one. Apparently, when it opened up, half past one to half past three, I believe. So, it was half past the queue, went down quickly. So, we all went to East End when we got there, another queue, but weren't sure what it was for. Someone said something over the microphone, but again, it wasn't clear. Lack of stewards, didn't see anything. Kids could see Toby Tyke, so we got in that queue, and a son 
went to that. Also went in some Mario Kart games and that. I had to go back 20 minutes. So at two o'clock, it got announced that players are still in training. So we went round about three o'clock, still training. But if you want to meet uh, three other uh, BFC women, uh, you had to get into another queue. So it seems to be like a female queue, 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 queue. Not a great experience for a, you know, for, for kids, really. I said, let's go out and have a look and see what's happening. The queue for meeting players was insane. I gave, I gave, a, I gave both my children, the kids, an option if they wanted to join it, and they said no. So that's when we left. I don't know if I uh, weren't expecting a turnout as big as that, it, but for me it just looked a very a severe lack of organisation in my opinion. I'm not mourning, but one of the children, to tell the children, I don't know why we just couldn't have made it a proper organised event. That's my version of events anyway, thank you from that person. I'm, I'm, and again, this is, it's like a worrying theme, what's going off here. But... For some reason, we've always had an open day. It's either been on a Sunday or a weekend or a, um, a game before it's first pre-season friendly home, uh, which were against Derby County. So, could something have been done then? You know, to build to that, possibly so. But it seems to have been... I mean, I couldn't attend, obviously, at work. And I know a lot of other people couldn't. So, whether this were aimed more at the kids' side of it, I don't know, which is cool. Also, you know, fair play. You know, you want to engage with kids, but... Listening to experience and then the price at food as well, three pound fifty for a little portion of chips, won't cracking. Uh another email saying couldn't wait to go to Mackey's and get something from there. So again, it's not a great experience if you want to engage with future generations to come through. And I get where they're coming from. Um a couple of seasons ago, uh some content creators had a chance to go up into the um I call it the indoor academy pitch uh, with Radio Sheffield and Balance FC, Community Trust and uh, people like that. We were actually able to interview players, you know, ask some short questions. I settled in an area if you knew a player, what's your aims and ambitions this season, what's training been like, if you did a good pre-season, you're ready to go. About a couple of seasons ago, and this happened again. So it's again another trying to reach out, reach out to the, the club. This part open day, people have been saying, yeah, it's a part open day. What's that changed? You used to be able to go and, you know, meet players at the side at pitch or straight from training, which is fine. But when you queues and queues and queues and queues, it's not a great experience. That's just part of this other fans being taken for granted. Another one, um, I'll address these, I'll, I'll address Sheffield United game because it kind of started before a uh, game. Oh, well, price of tickets. £17, you know, and whereas before it's been £10, if it had been no disrespect, but if it had been a, a lesser side, but not as well-travelled side, says Sheffield United, so say if it had been another northern side, it would have been probably a tenner, and it had been East End only. Night £17, and I don't know, I've knocked it down for, you know, senior citizens and kids and under-19s and all that kind of stuff. But £17 for a cup game where it's predominantly been £10 even if it had been a £10 for season ticket holders and £17 for whatever but there's, again there's no there's nothing for for the season ticket holders is like a reward surely it'd be better to ram Oakwell out for £10 a ticket people say yep there'll be high police presence and bill and this and other which I totally get which I totally get, but you're not telling me if you won't met the money up on the food and drink, which I'll get onto in a minute. Um, again, I think ten pound would have been plenty. I really would. I think you'd have packed out well at ten pound a ticket, um, and even say five for kids. I think you'd have absolutely ran that place out. I really do. I really think you'd have ran that place out. We had been. You know, um, still school holidays kind of thing. I think it's an opportunity, but it's been missed, my own opinion. Some people have been saying, oh, £17 not bad for a, a cup game. Um, you know, you won't get bad in the league, which is fine. I totally get that, but it's not. It's a cup game. And is it because it's Sheffield United we have decided to put prices up? It looks like it in that way. But again, at least reward the season ticket holders that have 
you know, shelled out for the scene tickets and said, look, you know, you know, if you if you book it now, you can get it at ten quid. But again, scene ticket holders haven't been, you know, really favoured. There's no benefit, and I think someone said this in about I forgot what it was about with benefit for scene ticket holders. Again, there's no there's no such benefit as such. Leading on to about selling out Oakwell and stuff like that, the price more or less a quid up on everything. Six fifty for a pint of Madrid in a plastic pot. Early bird, happy hour, £15 for three pints, excluded Madras, so you're paying, you're saving like, what, uh, £1.50 if you get three pints of Carlin. You know, I don't think it's going to put many bums on seats, that, if I'm being honest, when you could go down to the Mount or East Dean or wherever and get two pints for around about seven, eight quid, depending on what you're supping. Three pound for a, a cup of tea. Well, it's not even a cup; it's in a paper cup of tea. Two seventy-five for a chocolate bar. I know clubs got to make money, but come on, I think that's extortionate. I really do. Um, I've seen people online. People have approached me. This is what I'm doing a video for. I'm not doing it because I'm just making it up from now. You can go on socials and see for your send. With people, I've I've read them online. And I've questioned him. I said, seriously, have you done that? Yeah, you Neil, know, I've, I've done this. And this is the reason why. People sat in the cars, having the drink, or they've got some snap and they're eating it, and then they're just coming into the ground before to watch game. So we're not making any money whatsoever. How that engaging and how's that enticing fans here? I don't know. If anybody can enlighten me in the comment section, I'd love to hear it because, again, I get where club have got to make money. I really do. But there comes a time where all these fans can't be just get being treated as mugs all the time and just expect, you know, accepting and expected to pay. Because I won't be paying six pound fifty for a pint of Madrid. Not kind of a chance, and other people won't as well. You've, you, you know, someone at the club have got to really, really get out there and listen to fan base. Some, I've, I've seen some of So, you know, get into town and see what, what they're doing. See what happy hours have got on. See what promotions have got on. I said all this to the club before about having some kind of deals on and seasonal festive things and, you know, food and drink and that. And again, waiting, waiting and waiting. But we put one pound up on, on products, on, on, on certain products. Again, I, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. Are you alienating? You, you, you know, there's not as well. The queues are not as deep. The, the queues are not as deep, and you might be selling less and getting roughly about the same amount of money. But like I say, there'll, there'll be a lot more people. I think will be more discontent. So again, let me know, people. Fire away in comments below if you think that's acceptable for pricing structure and stuff. Fire away in comments. If you think the open day were an absolutely fantastic idea, fire away in comments, but also be respectful as well. Because I'm being respectful. I'm not, you know, I'm just calling out people's and airing people's thoughts and opinions, you know, and I've got opinions of my own as well. So again, from the open day to the food and drink to the, the, the ticketing price for the Sheffield United game, is there any rewards for the scene ticket holders? Yet again, it's, it's simple things like this. What can do so much to a community and a town and togetherness? Yet, if anything, it's put wedges in each one. It's just like just alienated it. It's just like gone backwards. I, I don't. It might be me. It may be me. It may be me. But again, I would love to know your thoughts. Share the hell out of this video. I want it, everybody to bear saying it. And, and if you're happy about, like I said, paying them kind of prices, or you want to see something different. People have been asking questions about electronic scoreboard route pitching. Again, it's it's certain things like that. What needs communicating? What needs, I won't say going in depth and explaining the reasons what, what, this, but at least communicate that we've done this for a reason, X, Y, Z. But again, we're getting nothing. So people are messaging, probably over the content creators as well, I don't know, or on other forums, asking certain things. So you've got to put it out there, and I'm hoping that someone 
can watch this video front club and, and come to me, email me, contact me. You got my phone number, and just say, Neil, what what do we need to do? What are the fans wanting? What are they expecting? What the I don't want to take credit for any of this. I've been there, done that with letters and my ideas. But it's again what fans aren't there who are want to come to work well and have an experience, a match day experience of going away with complaints. And we're going away from Oakwell. Another one. Why are the gates shut? I get the stopping the cars. N not a problem with that. But surely put some cones here to allow the people going out because sooner or later, and I can see it now, and I'm saying it on this video now, anybody at the club who is health and safety wise, savvy, please, please listen to this. There's going to be an accident sooner rather than later with people trying to get out of the car park, the main car park, through one little side gate. There's going to be someone fall up or someone get caught or trapped in one of them. When there's all the people going out at full time, and even more so when it's going to winter, when it's going to be darker, there's going to be an accident. Please, someone at the club, listen and open the main car park gates up. A bollard's in front, stopping cars out, and your stewards and that, not a problem. But do not expect the droves of people coming out to go through a little side gate when you've got kids and youngsters, you know, being trying to fed it through there. The amount of times I've seen someone being nearly squashed, trying to get through, please someone at the club adhere to this. Prevent it before it happens. I don't want anything to happen at the club. And again, people in comments, let me know your thoughts on that. I get where I vote. I wouldn't cards back, not a problem. But please open the gates up from the car park and allow people to exit safely and not be expected to go through a side gate. I think that's all I've got to say. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think of his hotels because there's been that much stuff what's been bombarded and this sort of way. I don't mean it in a bad way. I mean it just in uh, people with, with concerns and experiences what need to get addressed. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a, a good weekend. The video will be coming up for the after match thoughts. Transfer transfer week as well coming up I'll be when we can get some players in but yeah fire away in comments and share 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 this video it's just people's concerns about an open that someone can pick up and try and improve and find engagement and find experience at the club um, so yeah thanks for watching please like subscribe and share I know you always do I will reply to comments one thing left to say you would heads